Hello everybody. When you build something new in a Salesforce org and you need to deploy your changes from one environment to another, what do you do? You work with change sets, Salesforce DX, or you use a tool that's built specifically for this purpose. GearSet is one of those top tools. One of the many advantages of GearSet over ChainSet is that it can work with delinked environments. You can use any combination of production org, sandbox, developer org, or scratch org. I talked to many people who deploy changes from one environment to another, and one of the biggest challenges they have is that they need a flow comparison tool. It's relatively easy for them to compare two different versions of code, but it's quite difficult for them to do the same for flow. Gearset just recently solved this issue for us. They gave us a new functionality that gives us a visual comparison tool for flow. When you compare two environments using Gearset, you can go to one of the flows that changed and Gearset will show you exactly the added elements, deleted elements and the elements that changed. You get the XML code on the right panel and the XML code is going to highlight exactly what changed inside that particular element. Not only that, you get to choose what version of flow you use in your comparison in the environment of origin. Without further ado, let me just dive into the functionality and show you how it works in this sponsored video by GearSet. I'm on the compare and deploy screen for GearSet. On the left side, I'm going to choose the partial sandbox. And on the right side, I'm going to choose the production org that I authenticated before. I have a comparison filter made up uh, that focuses on flow components only. And I'm going to click on compare now, which is going to give me a comparison of flow metadata. Now, GearSet is going to think about it for a minute. It's going to start showing the items then one by one. Now I can see on the upper right hand corner that it's still comparing. Now I see the results. For example, the first flow over there is different in the two environments that I'm comparing. So in the bottom panel is where I see the new visual flow comparison functionality. Now on the left panel, there's a slider that says hide unchanged. I can decide whether I want to hide the unchanged elements or show them. When I move the slider to the left, I can see all the elements here. It's very similar to the flow canvas, the way it's presented here. And in the middle, I have the visual representation of the flow canvas with the differences. Now I can see the source version has three versions and I'm on version three. I can change which version I'm comparing. I'm going to do that later. Now I'm going to move the slider I don't change to the right, which is going to show me uh, the changed elements. Now on the left side, I see account results screen has been removed. Uh, the next step screen has been added and the account selection screen has been modified and if I click on these that's going to take me to the changes now when I click on account results screen that's been deleted in the source so I'm not going to see much on the canvas if I click on target then I will be able to see the element with the minus sign that indicates that element has been removed and you'll see the XML code that's been deleted on the right panel to achieve that. So that actually is a very nice representation of what you can see in this tool. Um, if I click on full screen, that's going to give me a bigger picture. I can click on next step screen that's been added. That's the element that's been added. We've just seen it. The account selection screen is this one that has a new display text component added that tells the user what to do on that particular screen. So that, that is the change on that screen.
and you'll see the get accounts within has been actually deleted and I can see that clearly when I toggle over to the target uh, representation now the change with the decision uh, more uh, it actually relates to the fact that we have deleted the component that just follows that decision so the next element reference uh, in that decision has been changed so it is kind of like an indirect change that's happening there but you know I can see clearly on the right panel what changed and what did not so after reviewing all that I can get out of this view and I can go back uh, to my standard view in compare and deploy now on top I can see the name of the environments and the last modified date and time for these flows so and that's also quite useful I can exactly see when it was last modified uh, now if I go to fetch latest button that will allow me to fetch the latest version if there is uh, a newer version while I'm working in here somebody is working on the flow I can toggle over to the XML view see the full XML for the flow uh, I can go back and change now the version from 3 to 2 that will refresh the comparison and show me the new results and now I'm going to be able to see if there's a difference between version 2 and version 3 once version 2 refreshes then I can use again the left panel or the middle panel to find out what changed now here if I go to target I see for example that um, the account results screen has been removed but the get accounts within is still there in this version it was absent from version 3 now if I go back one more version then I'm going to quickly find out um, let's wait until the comparison refreshes that um, this version is actually exactly the same as the version in the target org so when I move the slider over to hide unchanged there is nothing that shows that's different right so that's also good to know it gives you a very good overview of the progress of development in the partial org I gave you a brief overview of the flow comparison functionality in GearSet. Remember, once you're satisfied with the comparison, GearSet will help you deploy your flow to the target org. I think this is a great solution for admins, developers, architects, and release managers. Try it for yourself. And if you have any questions at any point, you can use the chat panel to reach support. I use support myself, and I think the service is very strong. This video was sponsored by GearSet. GearSet can help you achieve much more, including automated backups, data deployments, change notifications, and so on. If you want to find out the full functionality for GearSet, go to the link in the description of this video and find out. And if you have any questions, please give me your questions in the comments and I will answer all of them. Have a great day.